Kim. Good evening, um, San Bonani, uh, Molueni Dumelang, Ndi Madeguana. They say so in Venda. A very good evening to everyone that is tuning in. Uh, my name is Ukim D. Um, but I'm coming to you live up again. Uh, Tata. As you know, that it is six o'clock, it is time for the Wesley Guild SA O'Clock. And Sipila Sabuya Namchange Sakona. Um, let me take this opportunity and welcome you all in this lovely Tuesday, Apagegu Wesley Guild SA. We are about to begin our session today. Um, we're having a great topic, Namchange, and also we have a speaker who will be taking us through the topic here to Um The topic here to Namtlanje, we are talking about Oganyesitele Naayege, who is the first black woman in South Africa um, to release the anti-aging skin um, regime. Let me just make a brief introduction of yeah, guest here to Namtlanje before Sidegan Disifula this session with prayer. Um, Usus Laige is going to help us with it. Asi Vulele Ngom Tandazo. Let me take you quickly to the introduction of our guest today so that when we actually get into the discussion, you are able to know Uguti Namtlanje. Remember, when you have a comment, when you have a question throughout the session, please leave your comment on the comment section. Any other comment that you have, remember call them location. Um, I'm trying to check up um, the introduction. Um, there's there's something in that up. I think uh, Sly Masize Gue Usi Tandazele before we get into the introduction. Um calling Sly up on the laptop. Over to you, Sisam. Okay, and Goska Kulubut Kim, um, good evening, friends, and may we please bow our heads and pray. Thank you, Lord, for giving us nothing but the best. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for all the seasons of the year. Lord, we come to you, Bishogu Coming with all the adoration. Coming city go wing well, wing well, wing well when I hear over to come with Pussy. Lord, this evening we have yet another opportunity to talk about taking care of the temple that is our bodies, taking care of that part which encompasses the, probably one of the largest of our temples, which is the skin to go along Lord, we pray that you guide Roxy as she imparts knowledge and as she shares her gift with us, as she shares her journey with the young people of the Wesley Guild movement, Lord, in the Methodist Church of Southern Africa. We know, Lord, that this conversation just does not only stay in the Methodist Church, but it goes far and wide. Lord, we ask that, that everyone who hears about it knows the importance of having a natural skin regime, Lord, taking care of our skin so that we may continue to glow and look as beautiful as you, Lord, have created us. Lord, please. Lord Jesus, when he's going to lead us in this conversation, we know that he is a great leader, Lord, and we are very happy to submit to his authority this evening, Lord. Please make sure that everybody who deserves to hear this conversation comes in, asks all the questions, uh, and sends all the comments as they may need the knowledge. Lord, we thank you for the work that Roxy does and lives for. We thank you and we ask all of this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Um, as I've said, like there's a brief introduction um, she is an international, inspirational, and also a motivational speaker. She's also a life coach, a TV presenter. Also, she's a master of ceremony. Uh, Uroxima Rosa leaves an audience inspired to take actions to alter their life 
um, their lives positively. She draws her content and, uh, uh, from overcoming her many life challenges, childhood poverty, HIV, rape, um, divorce, single parenting, a bankruptcy conned by an ex-lover, and great experiences like owning a skincare brand, developing a TV talk show, acting in international movies, training a disadvantaged learners in beauty, world conferences talk, and many other experiences. Uroxi is dedicated and professional individual committed to provide the highest standards of and the excellence through her talks. Invite Uroxi to your corporate and women events. And that is the lady, that is the woman, Esteni Patele Yena Namplange, the Ambona Fondini sister, Ukone Tivini. She's also an MC. Um, without wasting any time, Masibe Gandingo Gose Tatin Tambo, she's Pose Guye, Asinige Zelege, in deliberation, the topic is in our plan. Also, I need to remind you that if you have any question throughout the presentation, leave it in the comment section. If you plan be now, there's something that like you would love to to testify, maybe make a comment. Unga ishia gana yo payana ku comment section. Ba bize bonge uba kwe lugo tisalaba. Roxy, masita tinda mbongo gusi swamsis pose kuwe. Kimdi, I'll request that you speak English because I don't understand Tasso. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That's fine. Um, we are now giving you the platform to go through your presentation. Um, well, what is my presentation? I, um, I actually don't like to present <laughs> myself or <laughs> anything, so I'm rather better responding to questions. Um, oh, but I think you 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 you've basically done an introduction of who I am. Um, but I'd really like this evening to be a focus on uh, Roxy Marosa anti-aging skincare. And uh, basically, I started I started skincare, or I, I was aware about skin at a very young age. I used to enter beauty competitions, and my problem is that I have dry skin. So it was always a struggle for me to find a product that works uh, for my skin, that I have a natural glow because it was always gray and dull. Uh, so, um, you know, I explored a few products and, you know, coming from a poor background, exploring products, it's not like your, you know, the, the products that you walk into a retail store and buy from the shelf. You know, when we talk about, when I talk about exploring products, that time I'm talking about Vaseline and, uh, you know, sunlight soap to wash my face and the green sunlight soap, ne? not, not, not this fancy one with the beautiful packaging. We're not talking that, we're talking sunlight so that you know you're going to wash the dishes with it, you're going to wash nappies with it, and everybody in the household, we wash ourselves with, with, with that. So that was a product, you know, it is a product. And in, in, in as a growing up as a, as a child, that is what I used on, on, on my skin. But of course it, it proved to be very harsh on my skin. So there was always the curiosity of what can I use? So of course, when I, when I come from this harsh product that after washing, I feel like my skin is gonna crack if I'm trying to smile or anything. And um, then the next thing is to apply grease, you know, and the grease at that time is the, um, is the Vaseline. Uh, and if I have to tell you the ingredients of what is put in Vaseline, you're gonna be like, okay. But if I should just make you make a test, take Vaseline and put uh, some light on it. And then you're going to see what I'm talking about <laughs> without um, talking bad about the product because I don't like uh, talking bad about other products. So yeah, then it would be like Vaseline. And of course, you know, Vaseline, the, the whole body. And as I was becoming a young lady, teenager, um, then it was Boma Kempha Cream, you know, that was a product as well. Uh, it is a product. Um, so I'm talking exploring in that sense. And when I started earning an income, um, I tried all the little bit fancier products, fancy for me, it, you know, at that, at that age. 
Um, but of course, nothing really, really worked for me. Um, and it, it was always a spark. It was always a spark. Having experienced so many challenges, you know, um, and I'm talking about challenges of even going to bed without any food. Um, challenges of sometimes winter, you know, with so five kids in the house, we're fighting for blankets, you know, because it's, it's so cold. And Kimberley is a very, very freezing place. Um, so fighting for blankets and fighting for warmth. And the resolution was all sleep together and all share each other's heat and, you know, a nice, have all the blankets on, on top of each other. Um, so, and going through adulthood and being in the film industry. And you know, when you're in the film industry, people have certain notions of who you are, what your life has to look like, who you look like in the street, um, you know, or what your life background has to be like. Um, when people come to your home, what your home must be like, what kind of car you drive, how you speak, you know, all, all those things that come with being a public figure. Um, I became aware that not only was I the only person who was having these challenges um, that, that I had, and of course, talking to people. And, you know, I think that the other thing with us people is that when things are not so good. We don't talk about those things that are not so good. We shy away from them. When we have experiences that are not so great, we don't talk about those experiences. And it was interesting when Sly and I were going through what we're going to talk about, uh, talking about my life, and I was saying, I separate what I talk about. So I compartmentalize my life because I've learned over the years that I need to speak to what people want to hear people have their own concepts, conceptions or perceptions or how they think things have to be. So I needed to speak into that. Um, so yeah, I, I, I would listen to people. I'd listen to what people say, what people want, how people want to be, what people, what challenges they have, which they might not share. Um, but, you know, I've, I've done transformation work so I can see things. And seeing these things, I'd be like, okay, I'm going to put this together. So I started selling skincare products in, um, I think the year 2002. And I was uh, one of these uh, sales ladies, you know, with these products that, um, I don't want to mention brands because I don't know if I'm allowed to do that on this platform. Um, so, you know, it's those products that there's a group of women, we're all selling this product and we're earning commission from it. And what I did during that time was, my focus was to find out people's problems and try to resolve their skin problems. And as time went on, um, in 2007, I started working on my talk show, uh, Roxy Marosa show, and I launched the show, which cost a lot of money. <laughs> and, um, you know, so I'd be invited to events. And that's the thing where, you know, when one becomes a public figure, you tend to draw certain people and people want to associate with you in a certain way. So I'd be invited to go and host events, I'd be an MC here, be a speaker there. Um, and I remember this one uh, breakfast event for ladies. I was the MC at that event and I was doing, I was filming my show later that afternoon. So, of course, based on the introduction, some of the people that were there were business people. It was a business breakfast. And as I left, um, because I couldn't stay for the rest of, uh, of the event, because I had to rush off to, uh, to my show, I had this lady run up to me and she gave me a card and said, Roxy, please contact us. I'd, we'd like to sponsor you. And that is when I was in, first introduced to international skincare products. So I got in touch with her, we met, and um, she wanted to sponsor me and I went for it. So of course, it was very interesting for me that she was interested in my skin like I've never experienced anyone be interested in my skin. So 
I also learned, so not only did I start using that skincare product, I used it, but then I wanted to know what is it about this product that makes it work more than any other product that I've tried before. Um, so I then requested to come to training sessions that they would host as a, as a company. And through that, I learned a lot about ingredients. I learned a lot about why companies select certain ingredients um, and what those do for the skin. All right. The product was fantastic. I'm also not going to mention the name. Um, it was, it's really great. It is here in South Africa. And um, so I was the ambassador for that skincare range for about two years. And then after that, uh, when my two year reign with them ended, I thought to myself, it's great that I am promoting or have been promoting a product. Now, uh, Sly, you know that I'm very passionate about promoting what we have here in this country, circulating the money in this country. Because the other thing with people that I find is that we are so quick to spend our money on international products, and, but we still have poverty in our own country. And if we can at least have our money uh, um, you know, circulate in our country, we, we will make, I believe we will make a very huge difference. So I started exploring and researching locally manufactured products and I came across very cheap products and I tried using them or I did use them and that didn't really work well for me. So, um, you know, I kept on exploring and researching. And then I had this one company who now manufactures my products. Uh, they contacted me and they said, oh, Roxy, we've done um, some research on you and we find that uh, you are a public figure. Like, yes, and? Uh, and they said, we'd like to uh, brand the product your name. Okay, so this was like, how is that gonna work? You know, another thing that I just want to point out, especially to people who might be listening to this and thinking, because uh, I, I was like that. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Like me, a product na named after me, how's that going to look like? You know, the self-doubt came in. Um, and when that happened, I took days, you know, sometimes I would sit at night because I'm trying to come up with a name that is going to be fancy. And then when I think that I've got a very nice name, then I go to the internet and I'm researching if this name exists because obviously this is a company. I cannot be using a name that already exists or that someone is using for something. Um, and, you know, after a period of about two months or so, it, it was like a light bulb going on, you know, and I just thought, why am I doing that? Why am I looking for a name? You know, this Roxy Moraza is a brand. I had already launched Roxy Marosa talk show. So why not just continue this brand name, you know? So I said, Roxy Marosa skincare, it's gonna be. I informed the manufacturer and he was like, oh, wow, that's, that's great. You feel so confident that you call the product your name. I said, look, I have my doubts as well, but let's go with it because the brand exists already. And we did. So, of course, this meant that now we're having, um, we're deciding on containers, we're deciding on names for the for the different products, we're deciding we're deciding on the the branding of of the product, and it took a long time of working and deciding on colors, deciding on a font, how the, you know, do we want a glossy label? Um, do, I, do, do I want, I, I just knew I love cleanliness. So I knew that I wanted my containers to be white. I wanted my labels to be white, but have a bit of color. Um, so I decided to go with that. And um, now I lived in a flat at that time. And so I would, I had the products and I, I bought this, um, uh, this cupboard with a color that, that I love and I would um, display the products on, on, on that shelf. Then I moved to another place 
And um, I turned the, the one room into like a studio where I was going to start doing facials because, you know, the thinking had to come of how am I going to get this product out there? Um, and because it already costs so much money with having a designer and the back and forth of, um, you know, okay, this font, no, not that one, maybe put this one next to that one. Um, and this color, the gloss, no, the gloss is not the shine that I really, really want. Um, you know, bring it down a tone bit. And now the container, I wanted to have like a silver rim and it, it, it took a hell of a lot of time making those kind of decisions. Um, and those decisions, I was basing them on what would be appealing to me and what do I want the person who buys the product? What do I want them to see? How do I want them to feel just by looking at the container? You know, um, I want them to feel and see cleanliness. Um, so this took um, a bit of time. And so now I started, okay, now I have the product, it's on my shelf. Now I need to get the product out there. I need to get people to know about this. I've spent so much money. I couldn't get a loan from the bank. I couldn't borrow money from anyone. And at that time, I could not think of partnerships. What is that going to look like? With everything that I've already put in now, how much do I allow to, to give away as, as shares to people? How much do I say a share costs? I, I had no knowledge of that at all. Uh, do I consult with books and that? And I just thought, you know what? I have a network of people and that is a value in its own. So what I did was, uh, because I used to meet with people all the time, you know, we had the social group as well that we met every time we had a, um, a coaching group that we would meet on a, on, a, on a monthly basis. So I decided to tap into those platforms because, you know, sometimes one can be so stuck with, okay, here it is, I've done all the base, I've done all the work, and here is the product. Now, where to? Because it's good and well, I have a product, and I am Roxy Marosa, the brand, and here's the product branded my name, but then people are not buying it. It's, it's just sitting on the shelf. So I use those platforms. And what I started with was to give free facials. And people thought that I was crazy. And they're like, free facials? What kind of a product is that, that you're going to give free facials? Some people doubt it. People who do care about me and who know me, they were like, we're going for this. Um, so I did that. And then I started a campaign um, calling it free facials for friends. So I, I, I wrote this email that did not have to be rewritten, that when you send it out, um, the person that you send it out to would read it as you are giving them a gift for a facial, even though I don't know them. And even though I don't know you and you send that email on, that is how, uh, you know, that is what they're going to read. Like I am speaking to them. The response was very good. I was booked. I remember it was, um, that was in 2010. July, I started with a campaign. From August, I was booked hour on the hour from nine o'clock in the morning until seven o'clock at night. No break, no time to go and shop for groceries or anything. I would have to ask friends to say, please buy me something and bring it to my house. And I did the facials all by myself. I was teaching people about their skin um, because one of the important thing was analyze the skin because we all have different skin. Some people have dry skin, some people have combination skin, some people have um, oily skin, and some people have acne. Um, you know, some people have white heads, black heads. I saw all kinds of things. And all the time I was in touch with, uh, with my scientist, um, trying to find out, okay, this person has got such and such a skin, uh, what products do I use? And so I was learning as well uh, through this whole process. It was really great because I was, sell, I was solving a number of skin pro problems that people were having. You know, I remember some people saying to me things like, 
pure Roxy, why haven't I know, known about this product? I have not even been able to leave my house. But when people told me about your product and how it makes them feel, I thought I'm just gonna trust them and come here. So, um, you know, the feedback has really been great as far as Roxy Morasa anti-aging skincare is concerned. And people who find their skin to be aging and wrinkling, um, you know, using the product, um, they finding that their skin lines are going, um, you know, even if you wake up and you've got puffy eyes, I could tell you what eye gel to use on your face. And in about 30 minutes, that puffiness is gone. Um, so it's, it, it was really an exciting thing for me. What was mostly exciting for me was the fact that I was making a difference. I was making a difference with people's skins. And I realized, you know, for me, going back to what I said about when I was young and having those, those problems with, with, my, with my dry skin, I would have, you know what people used to call the chubawa? I don't know why they are called um, in Afrikaans, but uh, I think they call the ring ones in English. Yeah, no, the, the dry spots. Yeah, the, the blemishes, blemishes in English. Like, in English, blemishes. Yeah. Uh, I would, you, you, blemishes, pigmentation. Yeah. So I would, I, would, I would have that, you know? I, my grandmother was forever treating me with some oil just to take away that grayness or even the ringworm. And it was just an ongoing, an ongoing problem. And it, it, as a kid, it didn't depress me. It kind of became normal. And I realized even when I was helping people, you know, in my adult age and people who were grown up who had problems, I have this one lady, she is, I think she's almost 70. And I remember the first time when she came to my spa in Weinberg, uh, she, I, had a, I gave her a facial and she sat for like 45 minutes after doing the facial, just talking to me about her childhood. And I'm telling you something of, at that time when she came to me, she was already over 60. And she was telling me her childhood traumas of her bad skin. And, you know, I, I always say to people, no one has bad skin. If you know what to use, you'll use the right skin. Your skin is just what it is. And it just needs what, what is right for it. And I, was, I could hear this woman's pain. You know, she still uses my products. It, you know, she, she can rather go hungry in her house and she'll just say, Roxy, I don't have money, but my cleanser's finished. I need a cleanser, you know? Um, so knowing that I help people like that, I remember one lady who came to me and she had uh, what looked like shingles on her neck. Um, she's a dark skinned uh, woman and, and she would say, Roxy, when I'm sleeping, I don't know, I itch and I scratch. She would scratch her skin open. You know, so I remember recommending to her the anti-inflammatory gel, which stops itching. And in about a week's time, that those marks were gone and the itchiness had stopped. And she was in tears every time when she came for a facial and she'd be like, I, I cannot believe that there's actually something that is working for my skin. So yeah, you know, the road has been a long road but it has also been an exciting road. And I see some people who are on here who have been using my products and it's so really exciting to see, hey Tato, hey Naomi. Um, so it, it's been really exciting for me to be able to, to help people with, with this game. And of course, like for me, you know, I, I don't divulge my age, but I'm over 50. And people always say to me, you cannot be over 50. Yes, I am. And uh, you know, I am a walking proof of what Roxy Marasa anti-aging skincare can do. And um, so, yeah, I'll leave it to you and you can fire away with whatever questions you have. Uh, All right. Uh, slide, Connie, slide. Yeah, no, but I'm over to you. I, Cause I thought, I thought uh, I'll wait for you. Over to you. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you, Sister Roxima Rosa. Um, thank you for that. Um, like 
we are now going to take a question and comments, but before that, um, there are two things which I would love to know. Um, yeah. The other one, it's a question, I think. Um, the first one is like, what is the relationship between um, e confidence and also e e e skin challenge? Because you will find that like most of people who've got e e skin challenges, you know, there's uh, e confidence in a way it dropped down. So I would love for you if you can highlight what is the relationship between e confidence, you know, the person mm -hmm. have and also e skin challenge. Secondly. Yeah. Um, you you like highlighted your journey, you know, how you started. And as time goes, there are people who came to you, you know, to mm -hmm. sponsor your product and, and all that. For someone like who might be listening to this session now or later, you know, who have this idea of um, a, a skin product, what yeah. advice can you give to that person? Because I want to believe that um, now I think it's more like a trend, you know, there are many skin products that are being introduced, you know, mm -hmm. and people are coming up with new things, you know, the competition is very tight. Um, mm -hmm. So what advice can you give to someone that has this idea of actually having his or her own skin product? So those are the two questions that I might have. And then I don't know whether you will try to answer those ones before we check on um, Kusla Yogoti. Yeah, Are no, because I, my, my memory, you know, I gave you my age already. So <laughs> let's sure. stick. Um, uh, In fact, you, you look much younger than 50. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so Kim, do you just remind me, what is the first question again? The first question was, um, what, what is the relationship between confidence, between confidence and, and the you know, skin? Yes, and skin challenge, yes. You know, some people may think that it is vain to be so conscious about how you look. But we are. We live in a world where looks really matter and they count. Um, and I'll make a, an example, especially with people who've got blemishes, because I find particularly them and people with acne are people who struggle with, um, with confidence. I remember one day I met a, a young girl at, um, at a company, and that was still in the process of developing my business plan. And she said to me, Roxy, every morning I actually the first thing that I do, I wake up and I go and look in the mirror and just to see which new pimple has come up. Every day she would wake up with a new pimple, you know, so, and she would not want to be outside um, and be seen. And now, you know, there are medication that people can take uh, to actually dry the, the pimples. The danger about um, a lot of the medications that are available is that you, you should not be exposed to the sun because your skin dries. It, it dries really bad. Um, you'll have a problem with dry lips, which they, they go dry, they crack. Your knees and your elbows, they go so dry. It, it just, it sucks moisture, not only those, those pimples. Yes, your skin may, may look lovely and, and that, but it, they cause other problems as well. And the problem as well is that you cannot, um, you cannot have children, you can't fall pregnant because the chance that you're taking is that 98%, I mean, uh, scientists say about 98, you've got 98% chance that that child will be um, disabled. And you're not allowed to take alcohol, um, which means medication like cough mixtures, which has got alcohol, will be even more dangerous for you. So, um, so the, the 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 confidence level is that people a lot of the times they know, they know this this is already in their mind, and the mind is so powerful. It's a strange thing. I mean, it's a it's it's a small matter in our body but it is really powerful when you know that you have a pimple or you've got blemishes. As you know, a lot of people will be like, okay, I need to powder or use a base and cover this up because we all wanna look. It's like society has this 
rule of um, looks makes things possible for you. Um, and, and, and we see that, we see it in business, we see it in schools with our children, um, you know, we, we see it in organizations, we see it all over that, um, you know, it, it's like we are run by society's way of, of thinking. So when you don't look good, when your skin doesn't look good, and you, you would have seen it even with women who have problems with cellulite, they don't want to walk on the beach not having covered um, their thighs. Uh, you know, they'll wear those very nice uh, um, see-through dresses and then because that's the closest that they're going to come to uh, um, as, you know, to walking around in a bather just um, in, in, in a public area. So it, it, it's so there, it, it's, it's a mental thing. Um, should one say, no, it should not be there? Well, what there is is that it is there. It shouldn't be there, perhaps, but it is there, you know. So, yeah, it does. Uh, people are affected. I'm sure you've you've heard even people saying, even the way that one dresses, the way that I'm dressed today, it doesn't lift my spirit. All coming from here, you know. It all comes from the mind, um, because we have how one has to look good. Um, when you when 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 you are in public, I I have this thing you know where I I work I call it work because I, I interact with uh, with students who come there with a lot of emotional trauma, um, childhood poverty, and you know the desperation of being something or someone in their community and in their lives. So. I always say, um, you know, people, it, it's an NGO, people come there and they, they, they dress just how they dress, you know, and it's normal. And I, I, I tried it the one time and I would just put on tackies and a sports dress and I go. And then people still like, wow, this is, this is nice, you know. Um, so I love that. I love being complimented. I think every, every one of us love, love being complimented. But then I, Thought, okay, who is Roxy Marosa? Uh, who Roxy Marosa is, especially in the public as well, I am an extension of my brand. So how I look in the public, when people see my product, they will be like, oh yeah, you know, we, we can see the match. Um, and I think what I'm also doing for those ladies and young men who come through our gates is that they see possibility. They see a black woman who is outspoken um, and who explores and is not stopped, um, you know, explores many things and is expressive. And, you know, she has accomplished a skincare range. She has a talk show. She's a motivational speaker. She travels internationally. Um, so I do it because I want to inspire people. Um, and yeah, you know, in return, what I get is the compliments and how great it is, and it feels good. It feels good. So what is the difference between uh, feeling confident and, um, and the skin being good? I'd say it's like, you know, if you put something on your tongue and it doesn't taste that well, you want to spit it out. You don't want to swallow it, you know. Or if something is off and you're gonna eat it, you know that it doesn't taste well, you're gonna spit it out. Um, because whatever you put in as well, you gotta take care, uh, you know, it's going to contribute to how this is going to look like. Um, so once confidence starts with the, the psyche, of course, and it is the work that one puts into it um, that, uh, that, that also counts, that contributes to how you are happy with how you look and how society receives you. And then Kim D, your other question was, um, for anyone who wants to start their own skincare range with so many being out there, what, what is my advice? We are all human. From the minute that we're born, we are dying slowly. So yes, we are so many more people today than what we were 10 years ago or 20 years ago. 
and everybody comes up with brilliant ideas. Um, and yes, the competition is tight. But you know what? Roxy Maras has not done a love forever. You might still be alive 20, 30 years from now. And what's going to happen with Roxy Marasa, the brand? Once I'm dead, I'm not going to have control over it. So if this is the journey that you want to take, it is going to take a lot. I've already shared with you what it took of me. And today is a different time. So the challenges that you're going to experience might not be the challenges that I experienced. It might be easier now than what it was for me then. Uh, or it might be even more challenging. You know, we've got COVID. A lot of people have lost jobs. Opportunities have, um, have gone less. But then I also say with this challenge, it also opens up other opportunities. And I promise you next year, the year thereafter, the opportunities are going to look so much better um, because there are interventions that are happening right now to manage this uh, pandemic. And, um, and, and people are going to see possibilities. People will see possibilities. So if you want to do it, don't stop. If this is your passion, I, I always say, you know, if, if you have a fire inside of you, that thing that excites you and which tomorrow you wake up and you're still thinking about it, the day after you wake up and you're still thinking about it, that's God's way of telling you that this is the way to go. And if it is skincare, don't think about the competition. Yes, handle it, handle it because it is going to be there, but it's gonna be there with anything that you're going to do. If you want to produce paper or books or whatever, the, the challenge and competition is going to be there. So um, am I going to say that you must be fearless? I'd say, if the fear is there, embrace it and work with it. Um, but also know that you can, you can do things because your, your passion and that fire that is inside of you. And you know, the other thing that people have to remember is that you don't live in a vacuum. Make use of the resources that you have. The people in your life, make use of those resources. Um, you know, for me all the time is actually talking to people and giving advices and sometimes making use of the resources can, could also be you being a resource. And one of the resources that, that I am, you know, is that I, I have my son who is um, producing music and to me that's filming as well. So I use my son, he's a resource for me. I have my daughter who is very technically inclined as well. So I use her as well. Um, she's a resource for me. These, these guys, they advise me and say, mommy, do this, you know, and expose your product in, in this way and that way. And, you know, some, some people as well. And it, sometimes it just comes out of conversation. I, I, my daughter invited me to watch, I don't know what um, movie yesterday. And I was like, what am I gonna learn from that? And it's like, oh, mommy, don't be so boring. So some of the resources are movies that are already existing. Um, I remember I watched a movie, I don't remember the title of it, but this was a black woman who was working for a white woman making a product that was being sold for black women, for black hair. She's making this product for someone who's not even using it for her hair, all right? And she had a conversation with her husband and just said, you know, I make, I'm, I'm basically in the kitchen because it's like, it's, 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 a, it's a movie depicting in the olden days when, um, you know, when black people were made slaves and then they became colored people in the US. And, um, and so they were working for these, for these white people. So she's in the kitchen making all the mixtures, but she cannot go out and talk about this product. And she knows exactly what she's putting into this product. And she goes out and she tells her friends about the product. And then she realizes, I'm a resource. And she decided to start something in her own kitchen. And she started her own product line. Yes, it, it required a lot of money. And she went around. Some people didn't want to invest in, into her idea. And some people did. Um, so, but as time went on, you know, competition was there. And some of it was really, really rough. Some 
people who were competing with her were the very black people who were living in her own community. And they will buy this one and buy that one. And so-and-so is going to give them more money and whatever else. And, but she was steadfast. She still worked and had great ideas. Yes, all ideas required, them, required money. And, but she did what she had to do and she got her product out there and she improved on the product every time. So what am I saying? That from time to time you are going to meet challenges, but you cannot let your challenges stop you. One of my biggest challenge was um, my fear of Roxy Marosa, the name being out there. And if something goes wrong, what people are going to say. Now I'm called Roxy Marosa, right? So if the product doesn't work, people are going to say Roxy Marosa doesn't work. So that is like coming straight back to me. And I remember my ex uh, saying to me, hey, let's, let's open um, you know, the, the spa when I did open it in, in Weinberg. And I, this, this place I found it and I renovated it. I made it to what I want it to be, like really beautiful. Um, and then the day that the lights went on, because there was a huge sign on the top of the building, Roxy Marissa Beauty Studio, he called me and said, um, drive to the studio. And I drove, and as I came around the corner, that light was so bright on the name, I had the biggest scare. I was like, there it is, now I'm out in public. And I thought to myself, just tell them to dim the lights. I was like, please just dim the light. He's like, why? And I said, but the name is out there. It's like, but that's it. That's what you want. You want the name to be out there. So even I have been scared of what it means, you know, to be in, in public. Another fear that I had was um, one time a client, I, I don't recall exactly what had happened, but she was not happy and she wrote a review on, on Google. And someone, um, you know, cause obviously with ads going on, on Facebook or social media, uh, somebody saw the review and they contacted me and said, yes, but this is what I, I read about your product. I didn't even know that that review was there. So I looked it up and there it was. I got the biggest shock of my life because, you know, for the most, everyone that I have heard, they've just said, wow, my skin looks amazing. And there was this one review. And I thought to myself, what do I do? How do I rectify this? Do I take it off? And I told some people and they said, no, you, you can take it off. But you know, over time when I thought about it is, Yes, I want it to be perfect, right? But what is really perfect in life? What is really perfect? Um, I had a great experience I was sharing with Miss um, Naomi Jansen, who I can see she's on here. And um, so we both uh, taking part in, in an international company. And one of the participants in, in, uh, in fact, one of the business people shared and, and asked uh, the, the, the president, what can we do about this negative review that is there about the company? And he said something really brilliant. And he just said, just call out any company. And people were calling out companies. I'm not, I'm not gonna call names, right? And they were calling out companies and they said, okay, how many, how many bad reviews? Hundreds of thousands of reviews negative reviews and I thought to myself well you know what if people are writing reviews it means that they're interested in your product or in your company I'm not saying that I promote negative reviews I aim to please and I want to please everyone um, you know that's what I endeavor and but if it is there it is there I gotta deal with it you know so um, so challenges are going to be there if this is the part that you think that you want to do, go for it. Can I just come in? I uh, came, Roxy, I, there's, a, there's a question that I asked you before and we spoke about it, but I would love for, for you to probably talk to our viewers about it. Uh, somebody might ask, why is it that your products are not readily available from the shelf? 
Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes I must, people just want to go to the shelf and try this. And you've also mentioned earlier on that you yourself have done over the shelf counters, but they just never worked for you. So yeah. two questions. One, why is it your, your product is not readily available on the shelf? Mm -hmm. And two, have you found your why? People say the only time anyone should start a business is in order to respond to their why. Have yeah. you found your why? Oh, absolutely. So why is Roxy Marosa anti-aging skincare not on the shelves? There are many times when I have thought of putting my product on the shelf. And when I went through that consideration, I spoke to a number of people, some of them students who are busy with, um, you know, who are cosmetologists and marketers and, and, you know, I would ask them if you walked into the shop, because I would show them my, my products, you know, I'm sure we're going to share the screen just now of, um, of the site. And so my question was, what, what would you want to see? What is the thing that you, when you walk into the shop, that is what you're going to want to see? And so many people had different views of what it has to look like. And for me, um, as I say, you know, I'm sensitive to when the, the most of the people that I work with is people who, who have serious skin problems. And yes, a few of them, I see Tato is here, uh, you know, Tato, even when I consult, when he, I did his skin consult, consultation, he didn't have a skin problem. But when he started using the products, it definitely enhanced his skin. And he's forever been grateful. And he would even just out of the blue, Tato would send me a message and say, gosh, Roxy, my, my skin really is lovely. I'm in love with my skin, you know? So those things, they really please me. And, and I think of a lot of people who don't even know their skin type because they have struggled um, and they have tried, like I did, as you, as you point out, like, you know, for, for years, looking for something that I think is going to work for, for me. And, you know, one of the things that I am sensitive to is someone using the product, thinking that this is what is going to help. And, and I've had some people from overseas and, and wherever, um, people who I haven't been in um, personal contact with to do a skin analysis. And then they will say, oh, well, my skin is combination and, you know, I'm this age because, of course, uh, some of uh, my products are particularly made for a certain age group, you know. And so then I send them the products. A month later, no, but I'm breaking out. Okay. And just from that, and I'm talking my interaction with a person who hasn't even walked into a shop. So in the shops, products, we, you, there's, there's a standard language that has to be used. And it's usually scientific. And people don't understand the signs of, you know, you go into write uh, um, a scientific word for pelletry, which is one of my ingredients. You know, it's a plant. Roxy Marosa product is based on, on plant ingredients uh, and that is what makes them natural and, and organic. So, so they, they don't know what pelletry is. What do I do? Do I leave the product there with a booklet? It's not gonna be allowed in the store. So I have tried a number of retailers and what I realized is this product is going to be like a little child who's going to be left there and be told, you need to fend for yourself now. But if you have a problem, contact that person, you know, um, which I can do. And the thing is that when people have a bad experience about a product, it's that, that bad experience spreads like wildfire. You know, and I think that is what I am really sensitive to is that I, I think I feel my duty first and foremost is to educate people about their skin 
And when they know about their skin and they can understand ingredients and, and, you know, and what, ingre what ingredients do on, on, on their skin and why these ingredients are selected for this particular product, I think I will start to ease off. I mean, I, I am easing off more and more and more. It's been, um, this is my 11th year of, uh, of Roxy Marosa skincare being out here. Um, so I'm easing off more and more and more, but more than anything, I would rather have Roxy Marosa anti-aging skincare be, being used with consultation because the product is medically oriented. It is meant, it is particularly made to alter the skin for it to look the way that it is supposed to. We are so used to, hey, you are using products and now you're starting to age and hey, your aging has to look like this. Um, so we, we give in to what we think, um, how, how it has to be. And then people start using Roxy Marosa anti-aging skin can be like, why is my skin improving? You know, and what I'm saying is like, I'm giving your skin food. Yeah. I'm not yeah. giving it chemicals. I'm giving your skin the food that it needs for what your skin is, you know? So, yeah. and I know I'm not going to get that in a retail store. In a retail store, we're pushing for sales. Mm -hmm. So if you come and you're taking the wrong product, and I, I've, I've seen this, I've seen this where, um, a salesperson will just be like, yeah, it can help you for this and for that and for that. And I know that product is not going to do that. So, yeah. Mm, yeah. I so, guess, so, so I guess so in the retail store, they're just pushing the numbers. But for you, you go into the, the root of the problem if there is a problem with, with a person's skin. Yes. Um, maybe just to um, ask a question to Mintoi on Facebook is saying, I'm watching. And I might need you, Sis Roxy, in the future. So maybe that's another person. And we've also shared your website where people can, can just go in and check your product. Yes. Um, and Victor was asking, what are the name, what's the name of your products? And we've also responded to the Roxy Marosa anti-aging skincare. Yeah. So the you. one thing I have always been amazed by, by your skincare, is the fact that it comes with a skin analysis or yes. a skin or skin assessment that is yes. something that a retail store cannot give you it's an experience that a retail store cannot give you i mean I, it was through you when you did analysis of my face and i was not happy yeah because because you forced me to look into how my face and how my skin looks like yeah. you know so you forced me to actually now be open to the realities of my skin and yeah. that is what i really appreciate about your product so and people are looking at you and then, I mean, you've been in my space quite a lot of times and people are asking, so oh, how old is she? You know, <laughs> I have like 30 year old guy friends say, give her my number. I'm like, no, she's 51 years old. You are 10 years older than I am. And we look yes. like sisters, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, so where can people get a hold of you? I know you've shared your website. Mm -hmm. um, so where can other can people say, can we call you? Do we send an email? Where can people get a hold of you? I am very, look, my, my phone goes all the time. So if I'm not responding immediately and I can, I'm, I'm hearing the buzz here. Um, so really, I love to interact with, with people. Uh, please, yes, you can have my number. Um, contact me via email. Contact me via my social media platforms. Um, you know, private message me. Um, I'll be there. And the great thing as well is even though the product is not in the stores, you know, I'm forever sending products to Bumafiking, Botswana, Durban, Johannesburg, wherever. Um, so, and you know, what is, what is also great about, about this product is that I've even had people who just say, oh, I'm sitting with so-and-so and I'm looking at their skin and it looks so alive. And they tell me that they're using your products. Roxy, do you mind if I if I come to you? And please, I hope you don't feel offended that I'm calling you. No, I'm so <laughs> looking forward to helping you. <laughs> so what is your number? What, what is your number to all to those people who are watching? Yeah, so please reach me on 073-230-3828. And if you want to contact me via social media, all my uh social media uh, uh 
that you know handles is Roxy Marosa. That's it. Yeah. And if you want to see more of the products, um, also you can um, you can go on um, Instagram. It's Roxy Marosa Anti Aging Skincare, and on uh, Facebook as well. That's Roxy Marosa Anti Aging Skincare and Beauty Studio. So, but otherwise, just Google me, and you're gonna find it very easy. So, so a friend of mine was asking, uh, what is Roxy's, uh, what are Roxy's uh, social media handles? And or the, the ask for your Twitter handle. And then we went through and it was at Roxy Marosa. But yes. it's also at Marosa Roxy. So which one should they use? At Roxy Marosa. Okay. Perfect. Yes. So um, we... Kim, back to you. last one um so i've got a last one um as you have said and shared everything tonight i think before we we close this session i would love to know as urox Rosa, how do you want like to be remembered we are born um when when you are no more <laughs> i'm not saying like your time you know, has arrived or whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but 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 how how do you want to be remembered? I'd like to be remembered as a person who was here to make a difference, um, a difference in whatever ways. And you know, the great thing I think that I've had in in my life is that because of my challenges, I have explored different things. I am a speaker, I do international talks. I get invited um, to do international talks on international platforms to government organizations, you know, at world conferences. And um, I have companies inviting me to come and just do talks to their staff to motivate them, talk about my experience and how I have overcome certain challenges. Um, you know, here's the skincare. I know that I'm an inspiration to a number of people who, um, I know Saturday I have this one client who says, you know, Roxy, I want to spoil my mom. She's been under such tremendous stress. And when I met mm -hmm. her the very first time, she was using, um, I'm not going to mention her name. She was using a pearl to, um, you know, to stop her, her acne. And when I did her skin analysis, I said to her, you've got oily skin. And but because of the, uh, what, um, you know, the medication she was taking, her skin were not looking oily. It wasn't looking oily, mm. but I could diagnose that she had, she had oily skin. And then mm. um, I think two years ago, she decided to stop taking that medication. And so the acne started again. She started breaking out. And I remember when I was talking to her, and, and she just said, Roxy, nothing is going to help me. I said, no, I mm. am going to help you. She came to me that night after work and I told her exactly all the products that she's gonna use and how she had to use them. In a month's time, her acne had cleared. She will not touch anything else. And you know, now she wants body products as well. And she says, Roxy, I don't want to use anything else. You know, I want to use everything Roxy Maros. I want sunscreen Roxy Maros. I want beauty, body wash Roxy Maros. I want body moisturizer Roxy Maros. I want food products, body, you know, Roxy Maros. And I was like, well, you know, to develop one product is a hell of a lot of money. And to get that product on the shelf, even, even on my shelf here, and get it known out there, it takes a lot of time and it is very engaging and it costs a lot of money. So, you know, for her sake and everybody who wants that, um, I'm bugging my scientist. And uh, so hopefully I will die before, <laughs> uh, you know, I won't die before that, um, that those products have come out. But really how I would love to be remembered is the person that was here for the interest of people. Um, yeah. I, I think one of the things that really makes me sad or that hurts me the most is when I know that I have left someone feeling out of place, hurt, um, or, or I've been insensitive to anyone. I'm very strict, especially with my students and my children. Um, I'm very strict, but my strictness is 
the intention is for them to be the great people that they are and the great in the greatness or the greatest possible. Yeah. So that's the person that I would love to be remembered as like, you know, that lady didn't let me get away with my nonsense, didn't get me let get away with my um, playing small. Um, and, you know, hey, here I am talking to you and this is going to be on social media and I'm going to be on cloud. So I'm not going to be forgotten, baby. <laughs> we, we are just happy. I personally am happy to know you and have you as a sister and a friend. And mm -hmm. I am happy that I was able to refer some people to you and they love you. Sometimes I feel like they love you more than they love me, but it's okay. The people <laughs> shall share. So, Roxy, <laughs> Roxy, thank you so much for being an inspiration uh, to many, many people that you come across and that you come in contact with. We know for a fact, without a shadow of doubt, that you are basking in the glory of the living God. Yeah. We know for a fact that it is not my mistake that we have you on this platform today. I really, really am happy to know you. Uh, there is a comment as I am ready to close because uh, Kim is going to experience load shedding in a, in a, in a, in a second. Tato mm -hmm. is saying, I am happy that you introduced me to her, my second mother. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Tato. <laughs> thank you, Tato. I, <laughs> really love you. So Roxy, we pray that your brand, not just your skincare range, but your brand, Roxy Marosa, grows from, from strength to strength. And yes. friends, you can catch her on www.roxymarosaskincare.co.za. That is the skincare range, that's the website. And she has shared her number, which is 073-230-3828. So please get in touch with her. Uh, say to um, I think I've just answered you. You said, how can I contact you? So the details are on the on, on the comment section of the chat and everybody can get them there. Roxy, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank May you. God... Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, you're welcome. So we <laughs> pray that God will increase you and God will grow you and many people will come to know you so that you can you can give us solutions for the problems that we have with our skin. Skin yes. is not just skin. Skin is also a confidence booster. You know, yeah. when we have good skin, we feel good uh, because we know we look good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. As I am about to close, thank you so much, friends, for joining in and for being in contact. Tandoletu says, watching Mrs. Roxy, I want to assume that Tandoletu is some, one of your students. Um, you. Because you also you also run a school, and I hope that we get you back to talk about yeah. other parts of your life because you are like an onion. You are the gift that <laughs> keeps giving. Now we are talking about skincare. Tomorrow we might be talking about something else, and there are many, many, many things that yeah. that you do, and I'm so proud to to have you. Uh, Kim, do you want to close for us with a prayer, Buti? Or has load shedding gotten the better of you? Um, not sure so it might be slow. Um, that's all you can close. <laughs> okay, but friends, wherever you are, let me ask that we please close our eyes and pray. As we have heard the journey of your daughter, Lord, we thank you that there was light at the end of the tunnel. There was light at the end of hardships and growing pains. There is light, even as she sits here today, there is going to be better light um, in her life. We thank you, Lord, for the gift that is Roxy Marosa. We pray, Lord, that we are able to use her product in order for us to enhance the beauty and maybe maintain the beauty that you have created us to have. Lord, I thank you for this platform, a platform that we continue to use in order to educate your people, in order to empower your people. And I pray that there is a black child somewhere in a rural place that is watching this, pro this program and says, I see myself there and it is possible even for me to dream the impossible. Who oh, I know that Roxy has never even thought that she would have she would own a skincare range at some point, but here she is at her age, Lord, owning and 
fixing us, Lord, and we thank you for her gift. Lord, I pray that as we go to bed, you go with us. You enter with us, Lord, in our bedrooms, in our homes, as we deal with what life um, dishes us to us every single day. Some are good things and others not so good things, but we continue to hope in you, Lord. For in Romans 5, verse 5, you say that hope can never make us shameless and we shall never, ever feel the shame for continuing to have hope in you through our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask all of these things in the name above all names, the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Friends, thank you. Good night Amen. and God bless. Thank you. And get more Roxy Marosa and aging skincare. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I just stopped streaming. Well done. <laughs>